Guys, it's Fonzie here with DipYourCar.com. I have a huge video for you today. One of the most asked for products since we've released the Pearlizer in aerosol cans is when are we gonna get the Pearlizers in gallons? There's a lot of people out there that are gonna use this product, not only as a top coat, but more importantly, to mix in to other colors. When you mix in the Pearlizer to other colors, there's just a whole array of things that we can do now with Plasti Dip. This product is gonna open up the different shades and different colors you can do on your car tenfold. It's gonna be awesome. What we're gonna to do today is give you an example of how to mix that Pearlizer. We're gonna mix the Pearlizer into Koi Orange and we're gonna dip the uh, Jessica's GLK in a beautiful Pearl uh, Koi Orange. So what we're gonna do is take you through the process and what my plan is, is I'm gonna put three or four coats of standard Koi Orange on the car first. We're gonna get three or four coats full coverage. Then we're gonna take a gallon of Koi in that same bucket and we're gonna start mixing in Pearlizer to my guess is about a 50% uh, match. So it'll be 50% Koi and 50% Pearl and that's gonna give us a beautiful Pearl Orange and we're gonna put that two or three coats over the three of standard Koi. So I'll take you along the process. Fonzie from Dip Your Car, enjoy the video. Now every time you dip a car, regardless of what color you're using or what products you're using, you want your first coat to be nice and light, about 50% coverage. That'll give you a really good base so that your following coats won't drip or run down the car. Now when doing your hood, it's very important to keep the spray gun at a 90 degree angle towards the surface that you're dipping. Now that includes, if you look at the sides of the hood, there are some contours there that go up on about a 45 degree angle. You want to adjust the gun to hit those contours at a 90 degree angle as well. That will ensure that you have a nice smooth finish and you won't have any texture along those contour lines. And for the whole hood, make sure that you focus on the 50% overlaps on your passes. That way you have a nice, smooth, even finish across the entire flat surface. Now you see the spot shot routine. We usually do this between the second and the third coat, just to make sure that all the lines and the cracks in the car get full coverage. They may not get hit very well from the large spray pattern as we do our normal coats. So we'll dial the gun down so just a little bit of product is coming out, and we'll adjust the setting in the front from a vertical spray pattern into a small round spray pattern. Now you just simply follow all the lines and all the cracks of the car and focus on the areas like the door handles for example that may not have gotten full coverage around all the angles. So take your time to fill in all the spots that may have lighter coverage because the third coat is going to fill in and make sure everything is nice and even. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to mix in the pearlizer, and what we're going to start with is one full gallon of Koi Orange. We've already blended this up pretty well. And now we've got our gallon of pearlizer here. Now it's really crucial to mix this very, very well. Obviously pearl has some metallics in it and a lot of other elements. Those are going to settle at the bottom. You do not want to pour this gallon of pearlizer into there and have all that stuff at the bottom of the gallon. So we're gonna slowly mix it. And as you can see, there's all these crazy metallic swirls that start to happen and come up. Really, really is a cool looking thing. We're gonna take as much time as we need to to where we don't feel any of the sediment at the bottom of the gallon. Now what we want to do is start mixing this into the koi. Now I'm going to start with about a half a gallon first, then we're going to mix that in and see where we go from there because there is some white tint in the pearlizer and it's going to lighten up that orange quite a bit. It's about half a gallon. Let's mix this up and see where we are. Okay. All right, this is about a half a gallon of pearlizer. 
to a full gallon of koi orange. Now there is definitely some pearl effect in there. It hasn't lightened up the orange too much. Now because we really want to go for a pearl here to show you guys the, uh, the effects, we're going to dump the rest of the gallon of pearl into the koi. I'm going to remix it. Anytime that you're working with the pearlizers or metalizers in gallons, you always want to keep them agitated. So nothing at the bottom of the pearl gallon, that's a good sign. Now we've got a full gallon of koi orange to a full gallon of pearlizer. We're going to blend this. That looks awesome. So what we've got here, this is your standard koi orange and this is your pearl koi. It looks lighter and it's got an awesome pearl metallic effect to it. It's obviously thinner and more translucent and that's why we've got three or four really good base coats of koi on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this up into the 3500 and we're going to apply two coats of pearlized koi over our base layers. Whenever working with the pearlizer in liquid form or the metalizers in liquid form, it's very important to keep them agitated. So even in the gun hopper, if you haven't sprayed it for a while, shake it up quite a bit before each coat. Now when applying the pearlizer, the metalizers, or even the glossifier in liquid form, I like to make sure that I apply them a little bit heavier to make sure I have a full wet application and a wet coat as I apply. I'm not really misting it on, I'm making sure I put it on in one wet coat so that it dries flat and smooth. Just be careful however because it is thinner than regular dip. So if you don't pay attention you put too much product on at one time, you could get a run. If you get a run or a drip, it's really hard to cover that up. So just take your time and pay attention. All right, behind me is the world's first car that's dipped with pearlizer in liquid form. And what we did, like you saw, is we took the koi orange, we mixed it 50% koi, 50% pearlizer for the last two coats. It came out awesome. We're so happy with this product because it opens up the color spectrum for plastic dipping cars tenfold. It makes everything way more exciting. You can do pearl black, pearl blue, pearl anything. It's crazy. So. Uh, the Pearlizer in Gallons is available at DipYourCar.com. The Pro Car Kit that includes everything you saw us use is available at DipYourCar.com. It, it's awesome because we're going to show you the Pearl Koi next to the standard Koi so you can see the difference. Basically, it lightens the colors a little bit. It gives it a really awesome metallic effect. And as you can see, it's not matte. It's not like a dry matte. It's got a really awesome satin kind of sheen to it. So the Pearlizer in Gallons is everything that we hoped it would be. It's Fonzie from Dip Your Car. We'll let the camera go around. Any questions, customer service, at dipyourcar.com. We'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.